Hello and welcome to quick edit number 22. Today I'm going to take this raw file and create a high key black and white picture like this in of course just about 5 minutes. So as you probably can see this isn't a very carefully planned shot or anything. I really just waited for the ferry to go on the Isle of Skye and I thought hey that kind of looks nice so I took a shot of it and I don't think it's the greatest shot ever but I think I can make something out of it. So first thing I'm gonna do of course turn it into black and white really no interest in color and I really want to go for a high key black and white picture here and then also I'm gonna crop the image because it's completely cricket so that looks a lot better and I'm also gonna bring down some of the sky because there's just no interest no texture in the sky so we don't need that much and I really like this kind of uh, panoramic aspect ratio here so that works pretty good because I want to have a high key black and white picture let's bring up the whites a lot and just stop before anything clips and I'm also gonna bring up the shadows a hundred just so we have um, more blacks to bring down because even though I want the general picture to be very bright I still want at least some dark blacks especially in the background here that's way too much but just something like that and let's see contrast I think a little bit of plus contrast even makes the differentiation between the dark uh, hills and the bright water and the bright sky even more decisive then let's see clarity definitely not gonna bring up the clarity I'm gonna bring it a little bit down however just to smoothen out some of the water and that looks pretty good so let's go down to the tonal curve and uh, I think I'm gonna bring up the highlights here a little bit and just play around with the rest as always as usual and just see maybe even bring down the shadows here so we really have a strong contrast between this ship and the rest of the picture then let's see if I've made quick edit I'm not gonna do everything in detail and I'm not gonna touch a lot of the stuff so I think I'm actually done with the global adjustments but in terms of local adjustments there's really definitely something that can be done so first of all I don't like this boy so I'm really just gonna get rid of it with the spot removal tool that looks a lot cleaner and I actually don't really like this boat here either so that looks way better than before way cleaner and I, what I really want to do is get a graduated filter and get a little bit of differentiation in the foreground exposure so I'm doing that by just grabbing a graduated filter here and just make kind of a rough edge and just uh, increase the exposure even more for the foreground now it's very important that we go back later in fact right now to the whites and make sure that there's still nothing overexposed so that's good nothing overexposed there but the idea is really to kind of make the foreground even brighter and have this middle line between the sea right here and the sky have it a little bit decisive so you see that this is actually the horizon so I'm gonna have created another graduated filter here for the very very foreground just something like that maybe even bring down the clarity in these two sliders to make the water even smoother and let's see I think I'm gonna grab an adjustment brush here just go minus exposure and a little bit of plus contrast here and just very quickly paint over some of this stuff it really doesn't have to be perfect and of course adjust it so it looks good and I think that really works well maybe another one just for the very very right part of this cliff or this hill or whatever it is and just something like that so that way we have the whole picture very very bright but we do have a sense of depth because the foreground the closest element of this uh, cliff right here is kind of darker going into the very bright and very low clarity background and then in addition to that we have a really really low clarity almost not visible skyline here of these mountains and I could definitely you know make these very 
uh, prominent or at least a little bit more and you know really show the texture of those but that's really really not what I'm going for here I really just want a high key black and white picture and I really like that there's just a hint of texture in the background so that said I think I'm done here for this quick edit let's see as always how it looks before and you can see just a snapshot and here we have a kind of artistic high key black and white picture as always thank you very much for watching and have a great day